The learning management system that I chose was Spiral, and I kind of created the lesson plan of different steps that the due dates are on separate days, that way each step has to be completed before the next step. The reason I did this is just in case there are struggling learners, that way it gives me time to give them feedback, which Spiral does allow. Um, I can give feedback on anything, uh, which I really like. I can't really go on tests and things that are already turned in. I can't type feedback, however I can say if it's right or wrong. Um, that is one thing that I, right off the bat, wish I could change about Spiral and would make me want to use something else because the only feedback I can give is whether it's right or not. Um, even if it's open too, actually, not just if it's something that the due date has passed. I wish there was a better way to give feedback, even though I can say, yes, this is right, or send it back. Um, that's another thing I like about Spiral, though, is just because something was completed, I have the option to open it back up, or they can keep redoing it until the due date closes, and I think that's important for scaffolding for learners to help them get the material better. So, the lesson plan I have is, it says, I think, 8th grade, but after, like, reviewing the material, it's definitely, um, more 4th grade, I'd say, because it's area and perimeter. So, the first step I have them doing is, let's see if it, let me click on this, um, alright, let's see. hmm, there we go. Okay, so the first step I have is on Spiral you can Google, not like, search on YouTube a video. So I chose a video, and throughout the video at certain times it stops. This is where the first question is. And this is just a very, as I titled it, it's an introduction. So it's uh, introducing the irregular shapes. Because on my original lesson plan, it was just uh, squares and perimeters. So in order to enhance learning, because the students did so well on the quiz, um, instead of like revisiting that, I wanted to challenge them and bring it even further. So I have an introduction on irregular shapes to help kind of have them understand how to do it in just a really quick, simple video. And I also have questions like, do you already know how to do this? How would you divide this shape up? And do you understand how she got her answer? And I like that I can say yes or no because when they turn this in, for when it's due, since it's the first step on the module, this way I can see who's understanding right away, like right off the bat after the introduction. So the second step I have is goals. There's nowhere on Spiral to... Um, like there isn't something called goals, I have to make this myself. And so I just gave them questions, open-ended questions that they can answer because I think that is helpful to actually guide the students because maybe they don't necessarily know how to make a goal or what they want their goal to be. And I was also able to put what the objectives are like my expectations are for the unit. I think that's important because again, they can say yes or no and that's where this feedback happens again. So the next step is actually a game. Now, there isn't the, op oops, wrong button, sorry. There isn't an option, there aren't any games you can search on Spiral directly. However, I was able to um, just copy and paste the link and give them instructions within Spiral, but it links them to another website, um, something you can do in a lot of learning management systems. So here I have them. They have the option to keep doing the game, but I only have it required to do 10 questions, and then they can copy the, like, print, copy, print screen, and email it to me. That way I can, again, see how they did on those questions. I also said, hey, if you don't understand or you didn't get a lot right, you can keep practicing. Um, that way, I, I know they're comfortable with the material. And then again, I asked, do you feel like you're ready for the test? So since this is due before the test, I can have them say, yes, I'm ready. Or no, I need more clarification. I, as a teacher, can again help scaffold for them and explain it further, see where they're going wrong. So last step on my module 
is actually the test. So the test is just kind of like a PowerPoint with questions because there isn't a place to put pictures with questions anywhere else on the system. And so I can give them feedback after they finish that. What I like about Spiral and connection to UDL is it is engaging because we're not just on, we're not just doing worksheets. So this is more engaging. You're clicking this, you're completing that, you're, I know in goals I have you drawing because there's something called Canvas and the students are actually able to draw. I think that's more fun than just saying my goal is this and like turning it in on a piece of paper. Another UDL that this matches is kind of the idea of having multimedia because even though we are online, um, I have the introduction clip so that gives them a video. Um, another cool thing about Spiral is obviously just as I did the game where I put a link, I can put a link to maybe a hands-on activity that they have to read the directions and complete that activity. I also... If I were to use this in my classroom, I think I would if uh, the district that I worked for already didn't give me a learning management system because oftentimes districts choose one management system and they have all the districts use that. Um, if not, I don't know if this is the one I would pick necessarily because I think it's pretty basic. Like, yes, you can upgrade it but it's, because this is a free version, but it's still pretty basic and I feel like any learning management could do this, so it didn't really wow me. Something that I would definitely do different is I will want to learn how to do the team up because that's an option on here, and I didn't really understand how to do it. The directions weren't really clear. I think it'd be interesting to have students do things as a team, and I think it's something you can only do live, like during class, like you open it up and you get feedback instantly. Um, I would also like to find out more ways to make it more engaging, and I think this would require a different website that actually has games directly on it um, that they can do from the website instead of copying and pasting a link. Um, I do like that everything on here it doesn't have to be live. I like that I have the option to either A, make it live, or B, I can make it set for a due date. What's nice about that is I, as a teacher, can decide, like, okay, I want to actually do the goals in class so people can see what other people's goals are to give them a good idea, or we're all going to do this clip and answer the questions together, um, or I can assign a PowerPoint to them and see their answers separately, like, and use it as a test or even just, like, an exit ticket. Another nice thing about using this is I can assign... The PowerPoint that I use that day in class, I can send that home to a kid that was sick or whatever, or are just not in class for that day for whatever the reason. I can assign the same PowerPoint that I use in lecture. They can go through and do it and answer questions, which I think is cool. And I'm not sure if other learning management systems you can do that or if everything has to be live. So I think that's kind of cool. It is really easy to use, so I'm a big fan of that. The only one, like I said, that I don't understand is Team Up. But for the most part, everything else I understood how to do, even as like the directions were very clear. Um, another thing I don't really like is the students can pick their names when you do something live. So if you do a quick fire, they can put an inappropriate name. Um, and I don't know if there's a way to kick them off without kicking everyone else off. That is something I didn't really have experience with because I haven't done any of this live. Um, so that's basically kind of an overview of Spiral and how I used it to help uh, enhance the learning because they did so well on the quiz that I gave for showcase number two. Um, I do think it's Spiral is good, but I think there's better things out there that I'd like to explore. Um, I don't think this is something I want, I'm like really excited to use, it's just kind of, kind of bland, kind of boring, but it does, um, it is, I can see how it could be helpful. Um, and I think it is good for, um, learning and helping students enhance their learning. And so overall, I don't think it's bad, but I definitely think there's bigger and better things out there.